Hey there, David Risley here, blogmarketingacademy.com, and I want to talk to you about your opt-in forms today. I see a lot of bloggers out there, a lot of blog owners who have either like no opt-in form at all, or they got a really crappy looking opt-in form, like really either very basic looking and it doesn't stand out whatsoever, or I can tell just by looking at it that it's like a default opt-in form from your email list provider. Um, and and even though so many people, including myself, are giving you all this advice about your opt-in forms. Um, and I think what's happening is that many people just don't know how to do nice-looking opt-in forms. They just don't have the HTML and style sheet capability to get the job done. So that's totally fine. Good thing is, when you're running WordPress, there's options for that. And I recommend that you guys check out a couple of plugins. One is called Optin Skin. This is from Glenn over at ViperChill.com. And uh, Optin Skin is a really nice plugin. It ha I happen to be using it in a couple of different places. Um, and it, it's a, it, it comes with a, a lot of skins that you could choose from, most of which are gonna be better looking than what you're gonna find just by default somewhere else. Um, and the other thing is, is if you do know how to get uh, custom opt-in forms, if you're a little bit more advanced in that regard, you can actually put your own in there and still track it and manage it via opt-in skin. So opt-in skin is a really great plugin. Now there's another one out there that I found recently called Hybrid Connect. Now if you're not familiar with Hybrid Connect, look it up. I don't know what the URL is, maybe hybridconnect.com, something like that. It looks like a really great plugin with a lot of capabilities. The reason that I'm not using it, and I'm just going to be straight up with you, is because I am a little bit more nerdy and I look at the underlying code which is happening and what I saw was that there was a lot of JavaScript code being output into the, the, the theme itself from Hybrid Connect. And the long story short being that I feel like it, it bloats up the code a lot. It's very non-friendly in terms of site load times and maybe even SEO because of all the stuff that's putting in there. And I understand why they're doing it. It's because the, the plugin does so much stuff and it, it loads the forms up dynamically and they don't really know how to do it any other way right now. But that's the case. And that's the only reason I can't recommend Hybrid Connect to you is because it puts out a lot of really nasty looking code into your theme. Whereas opt-in skin is more simple in the fact that it only it loads in a few JavaScript files and a style sheet or something like that, and you're good to go. Um, and you could even put those things on, onto your content delivery network if you happen to use one and, and make the whole thing load much quicker. So opt-in skin, it may not have all the bells and whistles of Hybrid Connect, but it's going to load up faster. And that's why I think it's a better plugin. Either way, I think that you should use a plugin like that if you don't have the technical skills to do your own opt-in forms because it will help you a lot. It will also help you track them. It will help you split test them. These plugins do a lot of really awesome things. So again, my recommendation for this video, go check out the opt-in skid plugin. I think you're going to find some value of it in it if you don't already use such a plugin. All right, talk to you guys soon.